Well, there have been a, there are a series of speeches that I gave, Jay Johnson gave, uh, John Brennan gave, where we try to lay out for the American people the considerations that go into um, the, the operations. Um, and one of the things I want to make sure that everybody understands is that um, our primary concern is to keep the American people safe, but to do so in a way that's consistent with our laws and consistent with our, our values. Um, we, are, we have as a basis for action that we take a congressional statute that allows us uh, to operate against al-Qaeda and associated um, entities, not only in Pakistan or not only in Afghanistan, but in other parts of, of the world. Um, we say that uh, we only take these kinds of actions when um, there's an imminent threat, when capture is not feasible, and when we are confident that we're doing so in a way that's consistent with uh, federal and international law. I mean, uh, I, as I said, I think we laid it out, I think, fairly well in those, uh, in those, three, those three speeches. Attorney General, you brought up uh, the phrase imminent threat. Is that the same as an ongoing threat, or is there a difference between those two? Well, I mean, I, you know, so many, so many of these things are, are, are fact-based, and I, I can't necessarily get into the weeds or kind of parse these things. You can't, I think, examine these terms without having a reference to the facts, and I'm not in a position in this environment um, – in a settled, in a classified environment, I can get more specific, but I'm confident that the definitions that we have used and the explanations that, for instance, that I use in my in my Northwestern speech, um, are accurate uh, representations of the the drivers. Um, the what fact. these the memos? I mean, you were a driving force behind uh, releasing the Bush administration's uh, torture memos. Uh, why aren't you a force for this? Well, I mean, we'll have to you know look at this and see. Uh, how, what it is we want to do with these memos? Um, but you have to understand that we are talking about things that are, that go into really kind of how we conduct um, our offensive operations against um, a clear and present danger to this nation. Bring us into the classified setting then. Uh, I'm not sure you could pass a, 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 a background check. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but that is, a, that is a real concern, um, to reveal sources, potentially reveal sources and methods, uh, and put at risk um, the very mechanisms that we use to try to keep the, the American people safe, which is our primary responsibility. This memo, the memo doesn't seem to be classified, though, right? It was, it was marked confidential but not classified. Why not release that to the general public? And in that memo, it seems to be that you, take an on, you say that an ongoing threat amounts to an imminent threat. So you said that you can only discuss that in a classified setting, but in this memo you're discussing the difference between those two. We're taking what sounds like an ongoing threat and saying that it's an imminent threat. Yeah, well, I mean, that's something I mean, we'd have to look into, you know, what's exactly in the white paper. Um, we'd have to look into that.